Good morning, everybody. My name is Altamar, and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Pillars of Eternity, The White March. I played around with my sound settings, so tell me if they sound better or worse than before. I think they sound better from the tests I did, but I'm not entirely certain, so we'll uh, play that one by ear. If they are worse than before, let me know, just so I can adjust them yet again. But I don't think they're clipping as high, so I won't sound as uh, weird and distorted. That being said, I am moving my head around a little bit, because I'm trying to get my chair into position, so... There we go. All right, we're ready to go. Let's crack open our beverage of the day. It's Monster, because I'm a little bit sleepy. It's also my day off, so I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of Pillars of Eternity videos. going to try and finish up this game today, and I'm going to try and advance more on The Witcher 3. I was also gifted two copies, or a copy of two different games by some developers who want me to review them, so we're going to be doing that at some point as well. Possibly today. We'll take a look at them. We'll see. Um, like always, you know that I am not a biased person. I will not review them positive, more positively or negatively because I got them for free. Um, well. Just as a heads up. So we're going to start out this fight. This okay. seems like a situation where I definitely want none of these Al Ghouls smacking around my back line. And since there is only one caster in here, uh, we're going to go talk to him. And then we're going to reset the encounter so that we can just do it standing hey. in the door. Actually, we have one person in the door. Yes. Maybe Edir is a worthy sacrifice. Hey. Let's go take a look. Peldin. The laboratory reeks of rotting flesh, but the elf doesn't seem to notice. He's busy writing notes in his small book, and he doesn't even look up as you approach. He frowns when your shadow falls across his page. Stand back, ghoul. I'll summon you when I have need of you. He points to a dim corner of the laboratory. You better not take that tone with me again. He finally looks up at you, startled and irritated. Effigy's eyes. Who are you? He shakes his head and waves his hand, nearly grazing you with his pen. I don't have time for this. Get out of here and leave me to my work, all right? Um, he returns to his notes before you can even answer. These ghouls are different, more docile and less rotten. I should hope so. I've been trying to stabilize them, prevent them from decaying further. He looks at you out of the corner of his eyes. Of course, the process is not yet complete. I want your portion of the key. He looks up, his cheeks flushed and his eyes wide and wounded. Has my progress been too slow? Did Consul Hot send you to... No matter. He says while sighing. He snaps his book shut and raises his hand, an incantation already on his lips. Well, that was quick. Alright, race to the door, Edir. You can make it, right? He's so dead. Run! Run, Edir, no! Oh, no, he didn't make it. Uh, Charge in and save him? You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do this fight. Who cares? Uh, you tank that one. You fight this one. Let's get some spells going here. Um, is there a good place to fireball? Yes. Yes, there is. It's right on that machine, technically. Actually, right there. Nope. Why? That machine is in my way, and it's really annoying. Alright, what if I go here? It's actually better. Okay. So, let's get that going there. And then we will get a burning pillar of radiance right there. And break. Aw, oh, damn it, that Al Ghul got past. That's bad news. That means Aloth is definitely gonna die. Probably, anyways. Um, does he have anything to get out of the situation? He can try and... What's this do? You know what? Give this a shot. If you can do it before you die, so much the better. And you know what? We can keep him alive if we need to. Cast the spell a lot, though you're stunned or something. Oh, he's gonna die. Is he gonna actually die or just fall down? I'm hoping it's the former and not the latter. Oh, he got his spell off. Good. Well, at least he got that off before he died. Um. I'm gonna put that there. It's gonna hurt Idir, but whatever. What happened to the wizard? Did he die already? I should have kept Palagina in the door. Who are you? Oh, you're a zombie. Go fight. Go fight, sir zombie. And then we're going to use... 
not that. We never use any of our um, exhortations, so let's haste somebody. Let's haste Pelgina. And let's get some augers. Some good old fashioned ogring. Oh, Pelagin is paralyzed. That's bad news. Uh, fight this guy, I guess. And you can fight that guy. I think we're fine. Other than a loss. Took a little bit of damage. We'll rest him up after this fight. He'll be okay. This wasn't a particularly hard fight. This wasn't even a nearly as hard as the other one. Al Ghul's not as tough. Alright, I'll stand back up. We'll take a nap. What happened at our keep? Uh, average adventure came about, so let's assign the assassin to that. And what else happened? We lost some money to banditos, but we gained yes. a bunch in taxes. So, whatever. Um, we do have more spells. Decrease critical hit damage. Yeah. Crappy wand, crappy, crappy. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Everything goes to there, including the note. Oops, wrong button. Let's take a look at what the note says. Quest item. Pelican's note. It's all ratty and stuff. Paladin, you're the most talented of my apprentices, but understanding is merely a page among the tomes of knowledge I've accumulated. Curb your pride until you've earned it. No weakness is deadlier. I can almost see your hands shaking and your face reddening as you read this. You think that my master you think that my mastering a few basic hexes makes you my worthy pupil? I'd crafted the parasitic staff when I was half your age, and while I worked, my peers plotted against me. He may have surpassed the others for now, but they will band together against you if you give them reason. Conceal your skill with mistakes, hide your malice behind smiles, sacrifice your vanity for a few precious years that you might survive long enough to earn the title of wizard. Well. Interesting. Interesting. Because. Rest time. Everybody's back to full life. A full eight hour rest and we are good to go. Yes, lockpick. That's settled. I'm going to quick save because I just have a feeling it's going to be locked. Or trapped, I should say. Nope. Exceptional uh, constitution hat. And some sneak attack boots that we don't need. We also found the research notes and some other junk. Wait, did we? Hang on. Gotta check something here. So we have Peladin's note. Oh, we have Sable's note. Okay. Gotcha. Is that Sable's body? Or is that a ghoul's body? Oh, it's a necklace. I think it's a necklace of fireballs. Alright, so what's in here? This creature in the tank remains still, but its eyes follow you as you get close. An um, a moa-sized creature floats in this tank as flesh is shriveled and gray. There's no movement from the creature inside this tank. Clearly dead. And finally, we have... There's no movement, so it's dead too. Alright, moving on. Next apprentice. We only have two more to go. If you'll recall, there are four in total. One of them we are working for, technically. The other one needs to die. I'm guessing it's going to be here. If I had to hazard a little bit of a... A guess? That's a lot of animated weapons just floating around. There's Ariki here. Okay, we're going to plan this one a little bit better this time. Um, we're going to send our main character in. I'm ready. A little bit. Hey. And everyone hey. else is going to kind of... There's a lot of wands and stuff I'm in here, so there's going to be a lot of ranged damage. Nope. I think. Yes. So, let's hope that this works what out. I'm going to wait for her to wander over more in this direction. That way we can hopefully not get as swarmed by the myriad animated weapons here. Let me take a look here. I guess that's as good as it gets, so let's quick save and go in. 
distract me again and you're like to lose an eye. Or whatever it is you've got. Even as she speaks, the Yamoa looks not at you, but at a row of weapons laid out on a table. Aren't you concerned about the siege outside? Hot hasn't even bothered to come out of his study since the attack started, so why should I worry? She says while grinning and shaking her head. Need something? I'm still busy here. She places a dagger on a scale and scrawls a note on the parchment beside her. I'm surprised I'm allowed to wander so freely. If Consul Hot didn't want you here, you'd have known it the moment you came down those stairs. And then you'd be dead. If you were lucky. What are you doing? Logging weights, centers of gravity, controlling a three and a half foot blade in the air is harder than it looks. She balances a sword between her index fingers and jots a note. Tell me about Consul Hot. He's not someone you want to cross. Or disappoint. You know, I really should get back to work. She scratches the back of her head. Who else is in Craigholt? Aside from me, there are three other apprentices working on their own projects. I don't know anything about Sobble or Peldon, but stay away from Tanos, the Vithrak. There's something about him I don't trust. I'm here for your piece of the key. That filthy spider put you up to this? He's using you, you know. Thinks he can control you like one of his mindless puppets. She says while showing me a sharp, a row of sharp teeth. Her eyes dart from the weapons on her work table to you. I'll tell you what. You help me instead. And I'll give you whatever he's offered, plus a little extra. Deal? Fair okay. enough. Come back when you've got the other pieces of the key. I found part of the key. That's a good start. Let me know when you found the rest, then I'll give you my piece. You know what? I'm going to try and trust her. Amoas are generally trustworthy people, so let's hope that they are pretty good in this case. I trust Kana. He's a Moa, so there we go. By transitive properties, he should also, or she should also be trustworthy right that's how it works all right this is going to be interesting we've already talked to him we know what it's, he's up to so we're going to plan this fight out a bit better than we have in previous fights we're just going to stack up on the door hey. so that people can't it? get in and kill what? our back liners hmm? and then yes. we're going to stack uh, don't close the door please Aye? let's stack our front liners right here and we're going to start this fight off with a fireball, like normal. How may I help? Fireball is best ball. We're only really hit two people. That's kind of disappointing. It's actually out of range. Let's hit these guys. Oh, this is an archer. I don't know what a Victhrak does, so... Let's take a quick peek at... Oh, he's... What was that, stunned? Something like that. Hmm. Critical hits, despondent blows, circle of protection, let's get that going. Alright. Um, you fight that, you fight that. You three fight this. Oh, the Ravager jumps into the ranged group, so everybody on him. Half my group's stunned though, which is kind of bleak. Let's see if we can't uh, freeze a few more of them. And we can't get any guys yet, but what we can do... Ah, uh, that's too far away. We can, uh, cast this spell. Is that the right one? Yes, yeah, Storm of Holy Fire. Right there. Whatever that is, I want it to fight. Did you cast your spell yet? No, you're stunned? You're stunned. Gotcha. Is it like a suppression field? Because my AoEs are not going as AoE as normal. I have a feeling I'm going to be double crossed here. And last fireball of the day. Is that Ravager dead yet? Good god, he's still alive. This is not attacking any of my ranged people. That hurt. Okay, did you get your spell off yet? 
course not. Are you still stunned? Is a better question. He's still stunned. It means we have no healing back up right now, which is kind of bad. Um, let's grease the floor. See if we can knock down a few. Half my group's paralyzed and unable to move, which is really, really bad news. Who's not stunned currently? Nobody. Literally my entire group was stunned or paralyzed. Oh, there we go. My one character's back to life. Can he do anything useful? No. No. Nope. Yes. Okay, we have some people back up and running. We can almost... Do something. You're stunned. Are you awake? No, you're paralyzed. Still paralyzed. Half my group is paralyzed right now. Oh, good. He's actually casting a spell now. Now we need to heal, though. Come on, cast the heal. A lot is down, but that's sort of expected in these kind of fights. Uh, we can almost get, um, what are they called? Ogres. Thanos is still quite alive, though. Actually, you know what? Don't summon the ogres yet. Let's get another one of those spells going. They're so good. They're absolutely worth not dying to. Get out of there. Disengage away. Thanos is nearly dead now. Thanos is dead. We're going to wait for the spell to wear off before going in there. Alright, we should be good. And let's kill the last couple. And that's the end of that. A little bit of a tougher fight there, but not terrible. What's this? Concentration plus 10. Ooh, that's actually quite fancy. I'm going to keep that on a character. Probably use it. What's this? Dexterity 3, Reflex, Preservation. That sounds awesome. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Spell book. And garbage all around. Okay. Excuse me for the sniffle. Uh, Tannos's note is there as well, so let's grab it. Hey. Why are you not picking up loot? There we go. So Tannos's note says, and I quote, Go to your stash and open your stash to read me. Tannos's note, where is it? There it is. Tannos, more than any of the others, you have chosen a path that complements your natural strengths. Your mind is amazed, and you use it to ensnare not only your thralls, but also your fellow pupils. They are blind to it because they look to you and see an animal. Which is why I shall only warn you once, attempt your trickery on me, and I will give your corpse to Peldin. I feel the workings of your mind as surely as you would feel disturbance in your web. You would displace me as readily as you would follow me. But the first defense of any wizard is a warded mind, and I have, cent I have had centuries to strengthen mine. I have the sniffles today. It's really annoying. I shall be discreet. Uh, we don't need to rest yet, but I'm willing to bet we're gonna have to fight. What's her face? The other last apprentice. Hey, there's another spider. Nice. We're gonna have so many spiders to summon. Now let's read these things. What do they say? The glass jars on the shelves contain brains of various sizes. The corpse's skin has been peeled back and held in place with a thick, viscous webbing. That's disgusting, actually. And finally, a pungent stench of some type of preservation preservative emanates from these shelves. Not preservation, preservative. I think we're closing in on console hat. This has actually been pretty easy so far. Very cool little tower, though. I like how there's three apprentices working on different things. I totally just went and knocked my monster onto my keyboard. Whew. Gave myself a mini heart attack. I don't have a spare keyboard at home. It would suck. I would have to go buy a new one. I have a spare one at work. Alright. So. 
This is where we're at on this fight. Everybody pulls back a little bit. Hey. You're standing in the doorway. You're standing just behind him. Well? You're going to talk. Sort of as... Need something? I'm I got... still busy here. She places a dagger on a scale. Anyways, I got the parts for of the key from the other apprentices. Take this too. Now, just so we're clear, I don't know your business with him, and I don't want to either. So, if you get into trouble, don't expect me at your side. As far as I'm concerned, our business is happily concluded. She gives you a smart nod and returns to her work. Holy crap, she's trustworthy. What is it? I honestly was not expecting that. Uh, when I said that I trusted her as an Amoa, I was just flat out lying. I didn't, I didn't trust her at all. I assumed she was going to backstab the crap out of me. Why is there so much crap on my desk today? I gotta clean off my desk after this video. Alright, so what's down here? This must be the way we have to go to get into the door area. Let's take a quick little peek. And what does the this tunnel looks like it goes somewhere bad. Aha! There's a door here. What's up this way then? Nothing. Okay. So we have found the door. Let's read the last of the... Oops, wrong button. The last of the things. Ariki's note. Ariki, you tinker with blades and bludgeons while your peers shape the bodies and minds of kith and look down upon you for it. Let them. Spellwork often draws a certain kind of mind. One drawn to the mystery and spec or mystery and theater of grand arcane spectacle. But you are burned with no such pret pretension. You see magic for what it is, power, raw and malleable. You shape it as it best suits your needs, and this is what gives the greatest spell their strength. While the other apprentices are still perfecting their own amb ambitious spells, you will complete yours. When that day comes, strike them down and do not hesitate. Wow. He really does want to tur put all his people against each other. You know what sucks though? We still haven't hit level 14 yet, and we're almost done this expansion, I'm pretty sure. We can see through the door. I don't think we're supposed to be able to do that, but there are lots of enemies in here, including Consul Hot, a giant lich dude with a mace or scepter. There's a few Al Ghouls in here which are covered in arcane markings. Looks like there's two of each. You see no keyhole in the door, yet a voice booms from the other side, almost as if the speaker was standing right in front of you. Your master awaits a worthy pupil. Let the apprentice who has perfected a spell and gathered the lessons of his fellows speak his purpose. I am ready to see Consul Hot. Ah, first, you shall prove your merit. A wizard must protect himself. From the arcane and the mundane. From spellcaster and soldier alike. Of the many defenses available to the wizard, which comes first? A warded mind. You have learned well. But a wizard must also defend against his own deficiencies, lest he fall to them. Which weakness is deadliest? Pride. Should any fall by overestimating their own power. Yet for the wizard who understands the nature of magic, power is nearly limitless. What quality of magic is most critical to powerful spell work? Mystery. Return to the lessons I have given oh. you. That was the wrong one. Your ah, All right, fine. A wizard, you Order mine, pride, yet, malleability. Oh, wizard, it can be shaped into any spell. Yes. There we go. Though few will ever grow skilled enough to wield it well, one test of your understanding remains. What is a wizard's true foe? Mortality. You may proceed. I have a feeling this is going to be a nasty place. Uh, so it's not. There's not. Oh, there's also animated things here too. 
So it looks like he has the defenses of all of his apprentices around him, plus I'm sure he is a very powerful wizard on his own. I have a feeling this is going to be quite the fight. How that being said, do we have all of our spells? We have most of them. What? Except for missing. Okay, we should rest. Just in case this is a very... <laughs> kind of funny. We break into this guy's library and just sleep for eight hours. He's just like, uh, do you guys want to talk to me or... Nope, we're setting up camp. Are you are you setting up a fire in my library? Yes, we need to cook some, some food, you know. It's camp time. You don't want to discuss why you're here in my tower or my library? No, maybe after a nap. Oh, not you. You're not good enough to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything. Yes. An emaciated figure hunches over a stack of books. As you enter the room, it rises, and you feel as though you can see each rib and vertebrae shipped into place beneath a pale film of flesh. It turns, twisting wasted skin and tendons around its bones. Two eyes burn from its angular, shrunken face. Yes, you have the look of one who's lived by the sword. Yet you're a far cry from the hapless brutes camped above us. Council Hot's eyes glitter. What brings you to my study? What are you? He raises a hand and turns it in the air before himself. The flesh is so thin that you can see the bones moving beneath it. What did you expect to <clears throat> find? An old <clears throat> man hiding from his attackers? Or a young man taking the battle to them. Weak or strong, the flesh expires. To survive, one must transcend it. His eyes dim as he watches you, waiting. You're a lich. He nods, the bones of his neck creak. And beyond the grip of a common death. For I have already embraced an uncommon one. Wait, how do you know who I am? A dry croak of laughter tumbles from the lich's throat. I have poured my life into a phylactery waiting for one such as you. It is what you are that interests me. Spells are fueled by ambient essence in the ether. A miserly trickle of energy that leaks from the wheel. He traces arcane shapes in the air around him. Because the medium is so poor, a wizard must normally focus his efforts on the runes and incantations that channel it. He tenses his narrow fingers. But imagine what could be done with a more powerful source of essence. A watcher's soul, for <laughs> instance. His eyes flash. A rictus grin twists his lips. Tell me about your phylactery. Would you think to steal it from under my nose? As if it were so easy. A phylactery isn't some bauble I wear around my neck or hide in a chest. It's a complex layer of spellwork carved into my skull with runes and sealed with a peg of Hadra. The sparse flesh stretched across his cheeks twitches at the memory. It is the reason I'm here, surviving. Who are your rivals? In my eyes or theirs, you've surely heard of the great archmages of Aora. Nina Gauth, Minoletta, Sitzel, and Kolokoth. Archimir and Lengroth, too. We've all shaped the study and practice of magic. Just not always to our mutual taste. He says while well, shrugging. Do you know who hired the torn bannerman? The most demanding and visionary Oops, sorry, kind. that's not what I said. The kind that wizards have argued over for centuries. Names like Cadabal the Red and Mora of the Seven Hills. Even you must know of them. He leans forward, his bones rattling in his fervor. Uh, we actually said what kind of magic requires the power of a watcher's soul. I don't know what you're talking about. The power to warp and wind time. Like a skein of wool wrapped about your finger. To strangle its flow to a mere trickle. Perhaps to reverse it altogether. The pits of his eyes burn fever bright. 
Do you know who hired the Torn Bannerman? One of the other archmages, no doubt. He flicks his bony wrist. My wagers on Archimere or Lengrath. Always hiding behind glamours and diversions. But it could have been any of my rivals. Well, that's... I don't need to Where hear anymore. Where are you going? I'm just getting started with you. He stiffens as I turn. Right. Okay. There's some intense music playing now, so we know that this is going to be a big fight. There's a lot of dudes in here. Um, so we want to try and get them in that spell. I need some sort of defense against mind control and stuff. Wait, how do I, why don't I have any access to my combat spells? Are we technically not in combat yet? I think we are, guys. Just saying. All right, and the rest of you, not you, not you, 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 stop. Okay, I need you to move here or so. I need you to move here or so. How bad? Oh, he got punched back pretty hard. Um, uh, a loth got hammered really powerfully. A lot of them were immune to stun. That's kind of bad news. We're in big trouble. This is bad positioning. We should pull back. Okay. Quick load. That's a much harder fight than I anticipated. What we're going to do is we're going to start this fight on our own terms. We've heard his little spiel. Blah, 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 I'm a lich, blah, 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 you have to die, blah, 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 I need to watch your soul. We got it. We're set on all that. What we're going to do is actually end the video here. So we're going to do the fight in the next video and see what happens at the end of this expansion or DLC. We're 32 minutes, I'm going to end it there and we'll go on after that point. So, like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.